All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Kudabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the KSP Secondary Motion mod, which is being made by form user Ice Covery. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is some secondary physics motion to parts like antennas and solar panels that will make them wobble when your ship moves around. And I love it. It's just a neat little thing that makes the world feel a bit more real. I mean, yeah, large antennas and whatnot do wobble. But that's not all we get here. We also have a lovely selection of new parts in the structural and communications categories. So let's uh, jump right on into the VAB to take a look at the parts first. And we'll grab ourselves a Mark II lander can and then turn on our mod filter, just leaving on KSP secondary motion. And we'll start in the structural tab where we have our first six parts. The first one being the Crew Duke right angle adapter. It's a structural part, it's an adapter, and it's at a right angle. It's all there in the name, pretty much, and is a lovely part. We then have the Crew Duke Structural Beam, which comes in four sizes, either a 0.37 meter, 0.63 meter, 1.25 meter, or 1.6 meter lengths. And then the last part in structural is the wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Because why not? Perhaps Jebediah wants to open up a junkyard somewhere and needs advertising. And that, that is just fun. Now let's uh, actually take a closer look first at the proper actual structural parts that are in this. As they are lovely little things that can not only be used with this mod, but fit in quite nicely in any other ship you may want to make as not only do they look good, very nice in the modeling and texturing, but they do have some texture variants where you can either have the tan, white, black, or olive textures for you to enjoy. And it's the same deal for all of these parts, which is pretty neat. So you can change their color to whatever you want your aesthetic for your mission to be. And that's always nice. Let's pop those two off though and grab the wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man I love it it's great it's just it's just a fun part now first off texture wise it just amuses me it looks like a Jebediah thing and that is just wonderful now it does also have some texture variants the first being just the standard Kerbal but we also have Pickle Rick because of course we do of course we do <laughs> Whichever the two you plan to go with, it's just an amusing little part and is the first part we're looking at here to take advantage of the new secondary physics motion with this spring physics. This right here is what allows this wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man as well as all the various antennae that we're going to get down here in communication to actually wobble when your ship or rover or what have you moves around. And that is fun because I mean, hey, it's a wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. It needs to be wacky and waving, and that's just great. Now let's pop this off though and head on down to the communication category where we have nine parts, the first of which is the AN VLQ-12 Crew Duke. Now, despite being in the communication category, it's actually not a transmitter, but if you do have BD Armory installed, it actually does work as a functioning weapon jammer. And also, of course, uses those spring physics, and that's just fun. Now, we then have a similar AN VLQ-12 Crew Duke front antenna, which, same deal here, BD Armory installed, it'll be a weapon jammer, otherwise it's just a neat little wobbling part for you to put on your ships. Now next we have three parts that are all kind of the same here. We have the APX50 HF Mobile Whip Antenna, which comes in three varieties, a 2.6 meter length one, a five meter length antenna, and then finally a five meter antenna that's actually tied down, which I love. You know, if you're making a Jeep or something along those lines, boom, there you go, tied down antenna fits the bill. 
And as for its stats on it, it is, of course, all three of these, a data transmitter with an antenna rating of 50k, a packet size of 2 mits, and a bandwidth of 3.333 mits per second. Very nice. Now, after that, we have a bit more unique of an antenna with the plunger antenna. Again, very Jebediah, and I love it. Now, this one has some different stats here with an antenna rating of 200k with a packet size of 1 mit and a bandwidth of 0.8333 mits per second. And does still wobble because it's a plunger. And again, that's just weird and great. Now then, moving on, we have the, oh boy, really long-named UHF-727VM Multiband LTE Antenna. Now, this one's actually going back to the same stats as the WIP antennas with 50k antenna rating, 2 mit packet size, 3.333 a bandwidth. Overall, just a nice little thing. We then have the even longer named, oh boy, here we go, VHF100512 SLP VHF slash UHF Low Profile Broadband Antenna. There we go. Long name, got it out there, and has the exact same stats as all of the other antennas, except for, of course, the plunger antenna. And finally, we have the VHF 3088T tunable low profile VHF antenna. Once again with those same stats of an antenna rate of, rating of 50k, packet size of 2 mits, broad uh, band width of 3.333 mits per second. And if we pop some of these on here, we have just like with the structural parts, we've got the same four different color schemes you can go with of tan, white, black, and olive, which is pretty cool. And all in all, these are just some great well-made parts. I especially do love uh, the ANVLQ here, the front antenna version. The wiring there is just such a neat little addition. Uh, it's unfortunate for me because I don't really play around with BD Armory that it's not a functional antenna. I would love for that to be the case, but oh well, it's just a cool part. And like with all of the communication antennae here, they all use the lovely spring physics, so it will wobble. And that's great. I mean, come on, we have a plunger for an antenna. How can you not enjoy that? That is so very Kerbal. It's great. It just brings a smile to my face. Now, one thing I do want to point out that I, unfortunately, am not showing off because, uh, as usual, with my mod packs, I show them at their sort of base level. Uh, and unless I'm told specifically that I have to have a mod for it to work, then I don't install it. And a option you have here is if you have advanced tweakables enabled, you can actually right-click on these and adjust the spring physics so that you can make them wobble more or less, but since it's not considered a must-have prerequisite, I didn't install it, as that's how I always go with things. But let's actually head outside and take a look at this secondary physics motion and the joy that the wobbling antennae bring to my face. It's just, I don't know why, but I love it so. Now, one thing I do want to point out here when while we're going out to my little rover is this mod is still a work in progress, so some of the wobbling may not be quite right, maybe a little bit tweaked in the future. And an important thing is, at the moment, pretty much everything that wobbles is added in by this mod pack. It's one of these various antennae that we did get added in, with two exceptions. There are two stock parts that have had spring physics added to them. Those are the Communitron 16, as well as the Gigantor XL Solar Array. These two have had the spring physics added to them so that they can wobble around with these antenna, which is pretty cool. Hopefully more parts will get the wobble treatment down the road, but for right now, these are some pretty fun options. And if we do just start driving around, oh yeah, I gotta turn the brakes off there for us to actually be able to drive, you can start to see the antenna begin to wobble as, say, we go down terrain. Look at them go! They just sort of go back and forth and same thing with the solar panel if we do sort of get some wobbling there and just have the ship kind of getting some movement 
It's not exactly the hugest, most notable thing ever, at least, you know, when you're looking at it from certain angles, but look at that as you're going over this bit here. Just look at all those antenna wobbling around. And pay good attention uh, to, to the Communitron 16, as that one is wobbling quite nicely there. Now, of course, the longer the antenna, such as the whip antennae back here, they really wobble around, and that is just magnificent. Just look at it go. Oh, oh, I lost the solar panel to my reckless driving. Good times. But yeah, it's just nice seeing all of these things wobbling around. And it isn't just the case here on, you know, the surface. The uh, solar panels, there's actually a really good GIF on the uh, mod page of the wobbling in action for those. As if you're, you know, if you're in orbit and you thrust forward, the uh, solar panels will sort of wobble backward a bit, which is quite cool. But personally, my favorite thing, honestly, is the antennae. It always saddened me that the antennae in this were just rigid as you were driving around. Now, they wobble, and that is a lovely thing. Well, yeah, that's really all to go over in this. We got some great parts. We've got some fun wobbling bits for you to enjoy. It's just an entertaining, great little mod, and I can't wait to see as it does progress how more parts uh, get uh, wobbling added to them and how just overall it all pans out. It's a pretty cool little mod. So yeah, if you'd like to check this out for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. Well, that's going to be it for today, my friends. Hopefully you all have enjoyed. You do come back for the next. But until that time, uh, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.